Well, here we are all settled in in Valley of the Gods. So I thought I'd show you around a little bit. The girls went for a hike. Well, I guess I better show you the kitty cat. She likes it here, mostly because it's so quiet. How you doing, Josie? Say hi. No, just leave me alone because I want to go back to sleep. <laughs> or give me something to eat. Okay, anyways, I think the second most important thing besides the cat I've got to show you here is this amazing view. And this is the whole reason we love to boondock. Well, that's Monument Valley way off in the distance. You might not be able to see it. Now, we didn't go to Monument Valley because really it's almost all campgrounds so you have to pay. Not that it's that big of a deal to pay. But it's just crowded and people and I would much prefer this to be my view than somebody else's trailer. That is just a spectacular view. What's really great is last night, when the lights are all off, 360 degrees all the way around us, there is not another light to be seen anywhere. So I think we think that one's called, uh, the big one's called uh, Franklin Spire there, and the other one is called... Um, Something to do with a hen. It might be just hen or red hen or rooster hen or something like that. I forget exactly, but that's those two little spires there. And there's our dusty truck. And our little setup here. So I got the awning out, and I know everybody's going to ask, what are these uh, straps holding the awning down? So I just put these on always. Um, it's just a tie-down, just a black tie-down that attaches to the end of the awning. And then comes down here and grabs these stakes. These stakes are just, um, I got them at Walmart in the pet department. It's for your dog. You can pound them into the ground and then, uh, you know, put a leash on it. And he can run around 360 degrees. But it works really perfect for holding uh, the awning down. I think they were like 7 bucks or 8 bucks, But I don't know if how well you can see that. But it really works great. Just hammering in the ground. And then put the tie down on. So this is just to hold the awning down in case there's a really big wind gust. Which happens. It's a little bit of breeze right now. But if you've ever lost an awning, you'll know why you need those down. They're not going to hold up in a full windstorm. But, um, you know, when it takes you that minute to get out there and bring the awning back in or um, just stop it from flattering around a little bit, slumping around if a wind gust came up. Because out in the desert here, you never know. Got a couple tables and our chairs set up there. Have a little outdoor shower so you can wash your feet off if need be. And then I know we're going to get asked about this as well. This is our solar ground deploy setup that I have here. This is two 100 watt solar panels. And they're putting out about, you know, 10 to 12 amps. So that recharges our main battery bank that runs our inverter and some of the other good stuff so it's been working pretty hard today because we watched a movie last night and you cooked with the microwave and all that stuff so i made these these are the flex panels i probably need to do a whole video about these how i did it and what i what we use them for but um they're the flex panels i just made those mounts out of pvc and then those are sandbags i just carry a couple of light sandbags with me um, to hold them down And then I can angle them and move them whatever direction I need all day during the sun. You can see right now, and it's hard to see the sun, but the sun's right there. So they're perfectly angled for the sun. So we get full power from them all day long. So in the morning when the sun's going the other direction, I'd spin them around. And then as the afternoon wears on, I'll lower them or raise them up, I guess, actually. And then aim them towards where the sun is. And then I got about a 25-foot of cable there that goes to the back of the trailer and into our solar controller. So these are really nice because they fold up flat. Those, uh, those legs fold in flat, and I mount them in the back. Um, they hang from the back of the pickup truck in the camper shell from the cargo net. They're really light. But it's really a good way to go. So far, I've been working so great. I think probably I wouldn't mind having a third one for some of those cloudy days. I mean, we're generating a lot of electricity today, but some of those days it's like half cloudy, half sun, or you're, you're shielded with a tree or something. Um, third one might be in order. And then what else? Oh, okay, so yeah, the little, we have these little solar lights. 
<laughs> so these are a buck from Walmart. And we just, I think I got six of them or something. And then I just took a two by four and just drilled a hole in it and just, they stick right in. Let me see if I can show you. Just like that. And then they're easy to set up and put down. But it makes for a really pretty little setup at night. Just lights up your campground. I think we got six or seven of them here all around the campground. All right, and then the girls are out there somewhere. I have no idea. I'm going to have to go find them. What a view, though. What a beautiful place. So that's more the Valley of the Gods back there. We're just kind of on the outskirts of it. And we only picked this spot because we really like the view. I just love a big, wide panoramic view. I want to wander out here a little bit, and I'll show you what the rig looks like from out here. <clears throat> so this is all BLM land. So I think it's a 14-day camping limit. You have to stay on the main trails. Um, I think it's 100 yards. Don't quote me on that from the main road that you can go and camp. No campfires. But very private. There's nobody around. I mean, every once in a while we get a car that comes driving through. All right. And that is us from a distance. Boy, we kind of look like preppers there. <laughs> We're ready for the zombie apocalypse. All right, so I know I guess I'm going to get questions about the antennas. Okay, so there is two antennas there. Actually, it's only one antenna. Uh, the, f the far one, the tallest one, is a flagpole. I just don't have a flag up on it today. But I put it up there because at the top, it has a strobe. That's a multicolor strobe. It's really pretty at night. It's just kind of fun, especially at night when you're walking around. You can always see where your campsite is. And then the other one is our... Uh, cell phone booster so that is a directional antenna that's aiming up on a hill up on the plateau behind us and picking up one of the cell phone towers there um, and then it, the cable's kind of stretched out because I have it higher than I normally do so normally I'm kind of able to hide that that white cable there it looks kind of ugly but I wanted it a little higher so it's aiming at a cell tower that you're not going to be able to see but is way over there on that plateau way over there and we have nice, strong 3-bar 4G AT&T cell service here. So that's pretty nice. Oh, there's somebody on the road. So maybe you can see that on the roadway over there. Let's see, they're going to go by over this way. See how close we are to the road. But what a perfect camping spot. Really easy access. There they go. So that's where the road is. The Valley of the Gods. I better go find the girls. They're probably finding treasures out there, and I'm nowhere near them. we look like after sunset you can see the strobe light going off on top of the flagpole there and then the little lights in the foreground there are those little solar lights I get at Walmart for a buck but the best light is really that light underneath the awning that comes with a lot of these new RVs now it's an LED strip light that is underneath the awning and lights up the whole area here really really nice Just had a beautiful sunset. A little bit of color left. <laughs> 